This is a radio. I originally bought it to play my cassette tapes, but quickly found this feature, shortwave. Shortwave is similar to FM and AM radio, uh, except one big difference is it's not as well regulated. You're not gonna find WKEZ the mountain 80s all day. Most of the time you'll hear something like this. Shortwave has a niche but very dedicated community, and there's plenty of ways you can interact with Shortwave without actually owning any equipment. One of my favorite ways is using a website called The Buzzer. UVB76, aka The Buzzer, is a shortwave broadcast originating in Russia. It plays all day, almost every day, with a simple beep tone. And every once in a while, the buzzer will be interrupted with a voice transmission that seems to be speaking in some kind of code. Initial reports of this station started in 1973, and there was a sharp uptick of activity reported in 2010. On this website, you can monitor it yourself from anywhere. Mostly, it's just the same tone repeated over and over, but if you're lucky, you can catch something strange or mysterious on there. In fact, this year has seen a sharp uptick in strange activity too, including Morse code spelling out SOS, and strange unknown voices broadcasting from a third-party source. What exactly the buzzer is, we don't know. I think the most reasonable theory, in my opinion, is that it is sending encoded messages to Russian spies. That might seem a little out there, but there are plenty of mysterious number stations that are likely used for this exact same purpose. Number stations are shortwave broadcasts that use primarily text-to-speech style voices to allegedly communicate with intelligence officers all over the world. These numbers are supposedly a code that, with the right decryptor key, deliver information to operatives. They can go back as far as World War I, and while these are decidedly difficult or even impossible to crack, it is an interesting aspect. There are a few well-known ones, including the Lincolnshire Poacher, which lasted from the 1970s to 2008, which famously played a section from the Lincolnshire Poacher before its numbers. <laughs> Three, nine, seven, one, five. Shortwave radio equipment for a long time has been used as makeshift spirit boxes that supposedly let you talk to ghosts. Now, I don't personally believe in this, but there has definitely been a lot of unexplained things that happened on shortwave. Outside the paranormal, having a mostly unregulated broadcasting system will obviously lead to some pretty strange or unexplained stuff. And that's where I want to sort of come into my own experiences. I've heard some pretty strange stuff on shortwave before. Extremely fast beeping, almost like Morse code. Strange repeating sounds and odd ambience. Weird cult-like religious sermons, and I kid you not, on a windy day on top of a roof, I heard something that I can only describe as sounding exactly like the Night 5 phone call from Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Seriously. Now, there may be some ways to explain these things, uh, encoded messages like we talked before with number stations, random interference, or just malicious or completely innocent random broadcasts from the unregulated side of radio. But one thing's for sure, using shortwave radio will always be interesting and you're never exactly sure what to expect. Which is why I wanted to take you on a little shortwave exploration. That's a voice in there. Eh, bueno, a ver, 
It's time to engage extra mode. It's broken. It's in a broken antenna, but it should still work a little bit. I can't find it anymore. <laughs> Hold on, I just threw something in here. So, that has been this video on shortwave. Uh, let me know what I should cover next in the comments, and also let me know your own shortwave experiences. If you want me to come back and maybe do some more field work and do some highlights of some other creepy stuff I might have found, uh, also let me know about that. Next time I'll either be covering a new Five Nights at Freddy's uh, VHS tape video, or maybe something like Gemini Home Entertainment. See you all then.